Have no fear, Mr. Organic is here. Gotta start from the seed. Everybody see, you know, where I'm at now. The gloriousness, the Corvettes, the beard, the chains, the hoes, the clothes, the crib. But you gotta know where all this shit started. You know what I mean? Like I always say, it's SRTF. You gotta start at the seed to get to the root, get to the tree, and consume the fruit. Have no fear. <laughs> Count Drake was here. We had the Stock and Barrel Gun Club. We had the Caliber Club right here. Smoking oh. cups, cigars, and all that. Got a feet up. <laughs> Got a cool beverage, you know? But now it's time to talk about something a little bit different. You know, sometimes you're not going to be able to have a gun wherever you go. You know, they got the little signs up, even though they don't mean nothing. You're yeah. like, okay, they got the sign up, I'm not going to carry that. Yeah. I'm going to have something else. So what we got today, Mike? So I'm going to talk a little bit about knives. Um, okay. Now, <laughs> my, with my background, I've had a lot of conversations about knives. Right. Uh, most of them are pretty dumb. <laughs> right. Uh, because I'm not a big fan of knives for defense. Right. Um, a knife to me is a very offensive weapon. Right? Like it. people who are like knife fighters or, or really love knives and say, oh no, you know, knife. I've, I've had people tell me a knife is better than a gun. Yeah, that's you steal a cigar. Yeah, and, that's and, that's I, level and I'll be like, I'll be like what? a knife is better than a gun. How, how can a knife be better than a gun? And they go, well, a knife never runs out of bullets. They go, yeah, if you face someone with a gun, your knife is going to run out of bullets. Yeah, you're going to be way back there yeah. running at you with a knife. Yeah. Just, poof, poof, poof. Like, your, your knife won't run out of bullets, but it won't make you run out of you. Right? But your body will run out of blood. Yes, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so, but people are big fans of knives, and I know a lot of people like to carry them. And I, I love to collect knives, of course. Uh, so I collect them. Um, and so in my hand here, I've got a bench made. And this is one of the better made knives uh, in the world. I mean, right. bench made makes great stuff. This is a very utilitarian knife, and oh yeah, auto okay. knife, I seen that one. Right? Pop right out. Yep. And I commend them. So this is an auto knife. So think about this Shit. as a fighting knife, right. right? So here's my problem of using this knife defensively. Okay. One is if I go to stab somebody, right? Yeah. And I hit the bone, that my hand is going to slide right. off of here, right? I'm going to lose grip on the knife, and I'm going to I'm going to cut my fingers up pretty good. So, if I'm going to use this, I have to kind of use this offensively. <laughs> right. Right? This is why knives are really good for silencing snitches. Right. <laughs> Not necessarily good. Shot the 6'9". Six six nine. Nine. There you go. 6'9". Six six nine. Nine. Right? 6'9". Six nine. <laughs> now, the biggest problem I have with this too is that if I put a knife in your hand, right, right you're a big, strong man. Yes, I am. You have a lot of reach. Yes, I do. Right? And so if you get in a straight up fight with somebody and you have a knife, right. well that's a real deadly weapon. Right. But it's it's offensive. Like why would you have that? You're right. all right. Like, right. you have a knife too. Like, so what yeah. Are you doing? So I mean, but it's very offensive. If someone comes to attack you and you pull a knife. Right. Right? I don't know. Yeah, it's just hard. Ooh, you gotta right push up. it a little bit, but it came yeah. out there, man. Now, imagine instead of being oh shit. I need one of these. So imagine instead of being, you know, uh, right. Six five and, and two hundred sixty yeah. pounds, right? right? Imagine you're sixty five years old, right? Right? And and a hundred and ten pounds. Yeah. Is that really going to help? No. Right? You get, like I run with my hunter, they pull, 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 boom, boom, right. boom. I'm gonna take it from you and get there and get over you, right? So that's ah. the so nice yeah. thing. Fast. Yeah, you gotta be at that type seven right. 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 And then you sit there and you're slashing oh, around. Yeah. So I'm not a big oh, fan of knife defense. Right. No, you carry a knife with you. You're just last resort type. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I mean, they're good utility tools. Yeah, too. This, on the other hand, okay. is a different style knife that I think is very good for defense. Oh, it's called so. a crambit. Now, a crambit, the way that it works, right? Is and they make a lot of crambits that are fixed blades, right? So it's a Filipino style knife. Yeah. But this is one of the first folders I've seen that I've never heard about. Yeah, it was in the cutting necks and all yeah. that in the woods. Yeah. So a lot of times you have to fl flip it open like you would a standard folder, but this one is different in that how you work it, you push that down, and now your blade is out. Now think about this. I'm not going to take this blade and start slashing. All right. What I'm going to do is, if I'm being attacked by right. somebody, I'm going to go pull this knife and I'm going to pull it this. Oh, God damn, right? You got to go and move. Right? Now, what happens if you throw a punch? Right. You're going to eat that blade, right? Yeah. So 
of a sudden somebody goes to hit me and they impale their hand on my blade, or they grab me, right? right? If they grab me and try to bear hug me to the ground, right. this is going to get it. Ooh, right? Now, if we think about blade, so if you have if you have a knife, right, right, in your hand, right, and you're pointing that knife at me, right, okay, there's ways that I can grab your hand right. and take yeah, it yeah. away from you, right. This one, feed your finger through here, right, finger. How can I get that knife away from you? You can. Absolutely, it's Especially not. Especially I'm getting crazy happen, and getting right? some fingers or something. Absolutely not going to happen. As soon as I start reaching, right, wherever my hand is, it's in reach of that blade, yeah. and I'm not taking that knife away no. from you. I try to grab you to the ground, that blade is at me. Yeah. The problem here is that if I want the blade to be at you, I have to have my hand at a relatively unnatural right. position. And I have to be offensive to use it. If, right. you, if you charge me, you can push that blade back. Right. I think if people hold the blade and they get charged, that blade's actually coming back at me. Take that. If I got this baby and yeah. you charge me, that blade is going into you. Right? Get on. Yeah, and again, see it it's, it's, very, it's very unobtrusive, so right. I mean, somebody really in a rage might not even see that. Right. And all of a sudden, they're going to bury the red up on it. Now, it's not the longest blade, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if you grab something you thought was going to be an easy blade, Oh, man, you feel that. And you feel something punching you. You're going to relax. Right? Maybe you want to maybe you want to reassess. Yeah, you better go back to grab that business. So this is now this is made by CKRT. CKRT shop. So, right. right. So this is uh, uh, the Columbia Columbia River Knife and Tool Company, and they make a lot of really cool knives. They make a lot of just phenomenally good utility weapon knives. Uh, so fighting knives, but they also make great things like you know, camping axes and all this kind of stuff. Right. <laughs> so, and how we do this one is there's a little lever right here, and we walk it back. And I'll tell you, it took me about 30 times of doing it right. before I figured it out, and then and we'll figure it out. I think it's quick. Open it quick. Uh, it clips right on your belt, right? So there's a belt clip right there. Right there belt. And you just, as soon as you pull that out, you're pulling it out with your finger in the hole, so you don't need to readjust. Uh, anything to be able to uh, to deploy the weapon. Or the lever right here. Uh, yeah, so it's right here. It's it's a, it's 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 definitely a little it's, yeah, it's yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely yeah. tricky tricky because uh, it's it's easy to miss it. And you just pull it right down, right? Pull it down. So, yeah, oh. so you just put your fingernail like right on top of it and sort of pull it down like that. There you oh, go. There so you go, right? Yeah. So oh, okay. Yeah. If you find yourself having to force it, then you're, then you're doing too much. Yeah, right. It has to be easy, man. Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, it. perfect, right? Yeah, that's smooth. There you go. Yeah. So this is just, I, like I said, I've never recommended a knife right. for a defensive purpose. And I know there's like people out there, just true martial artists who oh, are yeah, yeah, yeah. for like, oh, right? Right. Um, I mean, there's a reason why police officers don't carry fighting knives. Because they will have Right? They have everything yeah. else, right? So I mean, it's like, you know, and I, you know, there's there's great kitchen knives, there's great cutting knives, there's great utility knives, there's very few good defensive weapon right. knives. Now, again, as an offensive weapon, a knife is fantastic. That's right. Right? So if you ever need to silence a sentry, yeah. it, as you do, you know you right? Are. Yeah, so if you have to silence a sentry, this blade would be really good for that. Yeah, right. I put on it. It was something that yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I'm not sure why yeah. anyone would need that. Right? No, okay. no, no. Like, like, we everybody yeah. all, we all positive. Yeah, no problem. So, as a defensive weapon, right? I can put this into the hands of a smaller, uh, weaker person, yeah. and yeah. try to come at them. Yeah. At yeah. least they're going to put something on you. At least they can make a little retraction. Right? And again, I like like you might get a little poke pull over to get you to run away. This won't necessarily work very well with you, right? right. Because for right handed people, right. I, I do it this way so most most people are right handed, right? Left handed, so you get confused me. Right. Right? But generally left handed people never attack people because they're just naturally better. We're naturally better people. Yeah, they we only want we ten percent of the world, man. Yeah. So we put you just you know in a different we just create a cool people. There you go. <laughs> Right, there you go. Man. Right. Night work. Well, Night yeah. work man. And like I said, if people are interested in this, it's Columbia uh, River, CKRT. CKRT. Uh, you know, come and talk to me and, and I can walk you through uh, 
utilizing this blade as yeah. a defense weapon. If you can't carry a weapon, uh, so you're too young to carry a weapon, right. uh, you're not you're not licensed or you're not a distributor, so you can't carry a full auto. Gun, auto that how you with those? You got to uh, what? So you'd have to be uh, you'd have to be a distributor yeah. or a law. For real? Yeah. You just can't get one of them. No. So, Damn, I, 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 I knew something, but it was yeah. two for I, I can only have, I can only have demo you. Damn, that's crazy. So, but this one, anybody yeah. can own this, okay. right? If you spent all your time working someplace where you legitimately can't carry a gun, right? Right. This is this is something that can help save you, or if you're somebody who just won't carry a gun for whatever reason, for whatever reason, right? I mean, I, I would like to, right I'd like to win you over, but yeah, I'm gonna show you. Yeah, I understand if you can't do it. This again is something where it's not an offensive weapon. It's not a killer type weapon, right? But it is somebody wants to grab you. And don't like something like a kid to really just grab you. Yeah. Stand by the way. Right, for sure. So if somebody wants to come up and grab you, if they reach their hand out for you, they're going to pull back a bloody nub. Yeah. And that's what this is designed Get them up back. Enough to get them off, you can just run away after that. You don't got to go yeah. finish them off. Unless you let you do it. But yeah. we get them off, you run. That's what you got to do. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Nice work with Mike. Man. We out here.